Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today and today we did, we've got, we got quite that a, last weekend. Yeah, we got this from last weekend. We uh, this is about a 70 mile up the motorway journey from our house. Yes. I've um, been after a an early 1108 uh, or 1104, sorry. Yeah, so this is what is it? Bit dark. So this is the what would say the uh, the first version of the 11 Oh, 04. The 1104 was one of the last versions of the Hoover Junior. So this one, you do see 11, 1104s are quite common, but this variation isn't because this was the first version of it. Yeah, that's the bag off. Yeah, because they went in the car. So what? That's the bag is on there. Yeah, that's the bag that's with it. That's a Bubba Hoover bag. So, this one is a, and we'll get this one out first, a fairly rare version of it because this yeah, was the first version bag, of it. Bags neat. Oh, that. Um, this one? Yeah, I have one with bags in there. Has a beta bar on it. Um, a later, I ran about, I think, not after 1985 or 1986. I think the bag fell off of it. Yeah. They've replaced it with a, with an aggregator like what you have on a turbo power one. Yeah. Yeah, so, so this is when I buy the when I buy when I when I when I actually buy car vacuums and, and drive them in the boot of the car, I normally dismantle them and put them in these boxes here. Yeah that's the box what, what you put them in the shoulder. And in fact, that's where they get quite often stored back into Looks by the um, so this one then, no, we haven't touched it. No, it might have spiders in there. It might have all sorts. So this one is a. Might have back widows, false widows. Yeah. Might have false widows, mouse spiders, whatever you call it in there. So this one is a U1104, and it's from November 1981. Now I know pneumatic vacuum was very um, had. No, he I'm managed to get his hands on one of these, this. and that the one that he had. Had a brown bottom with a brown uh, brush roll. Now this one is a black version. Has the black bottom. I do believe that Hoover used brown from Coles Collection. They either come with brown brush rolls at the time or black. And I think they. Just gone tip upside down. And I think in the 70s and the 60s, I think they had um, black and like a light cream colour, almost like a white. Uh, it just depending on which line I think it was made on. Um, yeah. So this one is actually a replacement for one they used to have. Um, this uh, one also Dad, had. Dad, the cable don't want to go off. Right. So what we'll do now, we'll get this one built up quickly, and then we'll start. Uh, you all right? But uh, right, we'll put that one again. So this one also. Well, I think this is the only video where you got to show how to build a hoover. Yeah, this is the name. But well, this one. It's got to get it in. Yeah, this one is also missing its original flex. It looks like it's got like a tumble dryer, um, silver flex, or maybe off a Dyson or something. Um, but as I did have a Dyson. I have the Dyson handheld. As luck would have it, I've um, butchered the machine up. And I've got the cable, which should be the quite the exact uh, what, the what? exact colour cable that goes with it. Uh, what um, have you butchered up? We butchered a 1985 Hoover Junior, but it actually had a, a bit of a strange bag. If I go and get this one now, so this one, this is the machine that I've took all the parts off. This was Carl's other one. Um, sadly, it got broken. Um, we had an accident. Well, I, no, I've got two of those now. Yeah. Got two of these. Yeah, you've got an early one and a late one now. That's the early one. That's the one we've been after. Um, so yeah, this one, the, the one that we've took parts of, is from a... Ernie. A June 1985 model, and it come with a bag that looked like that. And that noise there is England is playing. I think they're winning at the moment still, so... Yeah, I think that's... Uh, 
that, that, that next door, that next door. I've never ever seen a Hoover Junior Lemmel forward this bag. Or Lloyd is from England. But I think this is a genuine replacement bag. Um, so. I went to the Hoover's all those people who yell and like, ah! Sorry, it's all no day. Different. So the bag is actually in Didn't good condition. Done on a video. There is a bit of wear there that is okay, normal. Yeah. And there is a little bit of wear Dad. there, but that's normal. Dad, I want to get the pin in. What are you doing? And the bag's a bit dirty. All right. What bin I'm going to use? What's up with this one? Dad, is, is it come off? Yeah. All right, well, what we'll do, we'll get something to attach the bag with. We haven't actually touched this one for a week. I'm actually literally going to be stripping this one down and no, getting this it, one working. How right. keen it? So what we'll do, no, not with that one mate, as you can see inside there, it's quite dusty, so we're actually going to give this one a quick, va a quick vacuum out before we actually fire this one up, because it's only going to blow the actual dust back into the room again. Yeah. Well, it's quite dirty actually inside now, I'll actually show you how much dirt I'm actually pulled out of it, look. The that was actually... That, no, that has some two things. What was that from man? That too. Oh yeah, so it was from that thing, his little uh, uh, vacuum brush, and also... This is what's come from inside the bag, luck. Um, so it's quite filled up. Oh, it was a lot of. Come from the bag. So it looks like at one time they must have had a leaking bag in it. Um, it's just we're going to show you with a brush roll. This is the brush roll off his other one. As you can see, it's like a light brown colour. Well, that one, that's like the other shade of um, well, colour they would have had in it. So take that. Put that in the sun. I want to show how, how, how it looks like inside a sheet. It's like that. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. Now, so when, when you push it. So, this is quite an interesting. Oh, I'm going to show you what it does. When you push it, it goes like this. It goes like this. Yeah, the good thing about the black ones like is this. it's it quite like easy this. to. Uh, Look, it goes like this. It beats and it sweeps. Look, yeah. sheet. Yeah. Beats, sheets, beats. So the interesting thing is this one um, being a 1981 model, they also, and um, just before early 1981s and mid 1981s were uh, U1036s with the cloth bag. Um, so this was like the first one of their new design. So uh, it does also have a which was different on the machine. Yeah, that's enough, mate. Yeah, it does have quite an interesting design because the the back wheels are actually integrated in with the uh, the back the bottom base plate, which was a new design. While the U1036 was like the older style machines. Um, this was all. I was looking at the cable. This this should be a little bit browner, but I think that cable will look all right on it. That new one. Um, so what we're doing now, we'll get this one. We still got wires from yesterday. So what we're doing now, we'll get this one plugged in. We still got wires from that pickup. That's desk. fine because it. The sheet take it on. Yeah. So let's get this one plugged in now, mate. Oh, I'll do it myself. Oh, I hate the noise. Of so this comes with a. Old pad. A Volatex plug, which is a. Oldest. A 1980s plug. Seventies. Seventeen. Yeah, vo vo Volatex are quite. But Volatex plugs are, are, are quality plugs, you know. They're like the MK all, plugs. All the tumble dryers, like so, not eighty. Yeah, I nicer. think I think that person is a tumble dryer cable there. Or that's like a ninety-eight tumble dryer plug. Also, the uh, made in Great Britain sticker is in excellent condition. No, we're not here. Yeah, but they're still in excellent condition. So let's get this eighties one there. That's right. It does run alright. Yeah, it does. Yeah. 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 I think 
that's enough for it now, mate. So it does run alright. Um, yeah, I think we have this in shuttle number three, really. I think that's it now, mate. I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off now, mate. So, this one will hopefully, um, the only thing I'll have to watch with this one is this bit here, the way this one's printed off. Um, I'm not actually going to be washing this section of the bag at all. What happened to it? Because it might take this off. What happened to it? Because this is very, very similar to um, this bit here, reminds me of the. Uh, the plastic so uh, basically what I'm going to do I'm going to dip from there downwards in because most of the dirt as you can see is at the bottom of the bag well the top of it will stay clean and we're probably going to vacuum this off with a, with a pneumatic or something um, just to make sure that this bash does not come off because you don't see these very often all in one piece uh, most of them will come with a what can I say a replacement bag so uh, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to Vacumane and see you on the next one when this one will be not looking a lot different but will be stripped and greased and the bag will be cleaner so it's a nice addition to Carl's collection I've been after one of these for ages haven't we really and um, this one was sold alongside the, the original Terrible Power the Burgundy one um, and then they later they made it like a dark brown version bag and then they made a creamy color bag and then they also had um well so they have they as a they also had shop exclusives of them but you can get quite a lot of these but this is a standard model so thank you very much for watching and bye for now